how to find the best curved ultra wide monitor for your home office. Awesome for tuning in today. I'm going to show you a monitor from Philips, the 346B1C, a very nice spacious monitor as you can see here that should be perfect for productivity tasks and what are the things that you can consider when comparing different monitors if we for example look quickly at the back you can already see this monitor has a lot of inputs such as display port hdmi very important to USB-C as well as a network connection and what is this actually uh, so useful for and why did i pick this monitor let's do a closer comparison and to dive right into this monitor review. Now guys, one thing is for sure, the USB-C monitor is becoming more and more popular. So let's quickly peek into the box and we see the monitor comes with the DisplayPort cable with the HDMI cable, but it has also a bunch of other features. Let's quickly put this together. You see the monitor arm, you just clip that into place and put on the base plate, fixate it by hand. Maybe use a screwdriver to make sure it's really tight fit so that you have like a stable connection between the base. Obviously, this does not just have the USB-C. It also has the network connection. What, what is that so useful for? Let's check this out in this review and you see the monitor looks very nice in this black design. Terrific. Guys, let's jump right in and I'm going to give you a quick rundown about the most important things I noticed about this Philips ultra wide monitor. Now, first up, obviously, is the aspect ratio. This is a 21 by 9 aspect ratio, so it's larger than the 16 by 9s. As you can see here, normally you would have the 27 inch size with the 16 by 9 inch ratio, but since it's a 21 by 9 on both sides, you get some space extra, which is very nice for productivity tasks. And as you also can see uh, in the card below, there are also even bigger ones, the so-called super wide, the 32 by nine, like for example, a Samsung uh, that I reviewed earlier, which I would guess is primarily for people who need really super a uh, lot of space, since the even bigger super wides essentially would mimic two 27 inch side by side. This basically is in essence a 27 inch with extra space at each side. And again, why do I say this? Why is this important? Let's quickly look at the side card because you essentially also could, if you're not buying this particular model, if you're shopping for different models, if you compare different monitors and you want to try to find the best one, notice that the ultra wides also come with different resolutions, such as the UHD, the QHD, which sometimes also referred to as WQHD. That's the size that we have. I think that's a perfect balance. Of course, the 4K ones are better, but also more pricey. And if you find a really bargain, a uh, bargain price monitor, then you might only just get the full HD resolution, which in my opinion, when it comes to these 34 inch monitors, that would be a little bit too low. So try to not go below this resolution. One of the most important features why I think this monitor is interesting is because it also features this USB-C docking function, which you're gonna test right now with the notebook by connecting a second computer via USB-C cable. Unfortunately, that was not included in the manual. It said that is country specific. I only got the display port and the HDMI uh, with this. So let's quickly plug this in and select a different input source. Switch from the uh, Windows computer to my Mac up here. Confirm with OK. And after quickly logging in, I have now this monitor working as an all-in-one docking station because I can connect uh, my mouse to this and control, control it. The notebook gets charged, the display signal is, uh, gets transported, data can get transported, and I also can connect this monitor to my network if I happen to have a wired network connection. And everything will be done over one cable. Very useful. Guys, excellent. This concludes this video. And what are the advantages and disadvantages of this particular office monitor? Is this really the best one? What did I like? What did I not like? First of all, the main benefit is obviously the massive size. In comparison that I showed you earlier in this video from the 27 inch to these ultra wides, you have more space at the edges, which is great for productivity tasks because you can work with multiple documents. Very useful. Then also very useful, as I demonstrated to you, is the USB-C docking function where you can take your notebook and connect it via one cable. However, I found uh, 
Unfortunately, they only included a USB-C to USB-A. Now in the manual, it was said that that can vary depending on your country, what cables that comes with. However, I ended up buying a USB-C to USB-C because that's what is usually included when I test these monitors. Uh, for example, the LGs, most of the time they have the USB-C to USB-C. So that may be, may be a small downside and uh, maybe even bigger downside that I found of course, this is a VA panel and traditionally when I hear VA panel, I'm thinking more about gaming monitors. Since this is a curved ultra wide, it's, you can also use it for gaming, believe it or not. Uh, it works very nicely for gaming. However, I am personally picky when it comes to colors. So you can now decide whether a uh, variable alignment panel is enough for you or whether you should, uh, whether you want to consider the IPS panels. Here is an overview. Uh, of the different panel types and from those from all the monitors I have tested I like the EPS IPS panels the most because of the colors and the viewing angle stability and I didn't like the viewing angle stability here as much as compared to the other monitors that I tested. Terrific guys for tuning in let me know what other information you want to know about selecting and finding the best monitor for gaming or for your home office and I will provide that to you in other videos. Let me know in the comments below and I see you as a subscriber and in the next video.